Angel Lindsay here, reporting from the French Pavilion today. Now, the main attraction, buzz and hype, is all about these little guys back here. In fact, the robot is called Now. It's a technological feat of history, and today they're not just going to be sitting here on display. There's actually a fantastic performance planned, so follow me, and I bet you're going to love this. Now, normally, the famous robot now is displayed in a glass case upstairs in the Expo Pavilion of France. But today, we have special privileges, and we are right next to him here. Isn't he cute? Now, it's incredible, this robot, and it really is a technological feat of science because he can actually see. He's got a camera in the top of his head, so you can actually see the horizon, but also at the centre of his mouth, so you can actually see objects quite close to him as well. He's got face detection built in, so you can actually move and see people, recognise people's faces. He can listen as well and take verbal commands. And of course he can even dance and even responds to touch as well. So uh, here we have one of our experts. So can we start interacting with him? Yes, of course. So he can understand 23 languages. 23 languages, that's impressive. Speak in different languages. Hello. Did you know that I can speak several languages? No, we don't know. Oh, I did. Hello, je suis un robot humanoïde français. French. Buongiorno, mi chiamo Nao. Sono un robot humanoide francese. Okay, I'm going to teach him to dance. Okay, can you do that? Oh, it's so brilliant! I love it! Besides dancing, now can also perform Tai Chi. But apart from all these physical movements, I wonder whether they can actually help us in our daily lives. So I put this question to the expert. Already this robot is able to understand some words you are telling him. So for instance, if you are an old person getting blind, you can tell the robot, now come here please. So he will recognize what you ask him, he will come, yes, what do you want me to do? Read me my newspaper, read me my, this book, read me my emails. Obviously, he's not able to read books. He's not able to read uh, any newspaper, but he's able to go on the internet, download the file and pronounce it. So uh, there are a lot of usages about the robot. The question now is to explore all these possibilities. OK, so while he's very impressive, he can even dance. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Thank you, now. So I found 
myself a little friend today. Can you believe this little guy costs 12,000 euros, but he's worth every penny, particularly if they teach them how to clean the house one day. In fact, I think I'll get one then. Make sure you check him out when you're visiting the French Pavilion, and you can also check out these robots in the RoboCup tournament in Singapore at the end of the month, whereby they're getting the very best robots of the world to compete together in football. That's it from us today, but make sure you tune in again to Tech Angel to find out the technological highlights of the expo.